I usually hate shooting photos at night, but this one is probably one of my best ever shot at night until now. So let's see how I made it. Well, actually, I don't hate shooting photos at night, but I mean, that's literally a mess because you need to take your camera, place your tripod and then look for the right balance of the exposure, diaphragm, ISO, white balance and apart from all of these you need to do several and I mean several attempts and so that's why it's so messy and it takes lots of time just to take one single right photo. But now let's take the computer and see how I made this photo. So first thing to say before seeing everything is what camera did I use to take the photo and where I was to take the photo. At that time I was using a Fujifilm XS10 with the Fuji 1680 which I have here. So this one is a great lens but it's not ideal for night photography just because it is an F4. For the place I was in the mountains in Trentino at about 2000 meters so away from cities and villages but there were true problems. First of all the light pollution because everywhere you go nowadays there are some light pollution which is not ideal for night photography and the main problem was that there was a full moon. So now let's see the first photo that I do which is this one and uh, yeah there are quite some problems into this photo so as you can see the, the photo is extremely blurred so you can just see for example the mountains and the star are completely blurred and the problems with this first photo was that when you're shooting at night you need to set the lens and the camera with manual focus and you need to set the focus ring to infinite but if you go a bit further from infinite your photo is gonna be blurred so after I understood this, I continued to try all the settings and I tried for example various composition and various things just moving around the tripod in the place. At this point the photos were continuing to get a bit better with the right settings but I needed a real and particular subject but you know putting just myself in the photo would have been a bit boring in the final result and so I thought to take a torch so the thing that I've tried to do was to put the torch and to try to create a light beam in the sky and it worked and after this I took a little light cube which can be for example colored and pointed it to the ground just to create for example a colored ground on the grass so as you can see I've tried for example with the blue light cube and after so this was a sort of a fail while taking the photo after I tried for example with the green but there was something still missing because there is a dominance of blue and of blue versus green in the photo and so it would have been better to for example put a blue part so a cold part in the photo and even a more hot part the photo was almost there and the final shot that I took which in my opinion is the best one of the night was this one. So this one is the completely raw image. So all the photos that we have seen before were just some raw images with some little edits. And to take the real final amazing result that you are seeing now, I had to make lots of masks just to take out the best from this photo. And so let's see all the process of editing these photos. First of all, I've done a general edit of the contrast, the light, and even that little part, as you can see from here, below, which I've turned it from red to orange, just because, you know, that red was a bit too much for this photo. So I wanted something like teal and orange, and that was the result that I wanted. So after this I had to create 10 different masks. The first one is obviously the one on the sky which is the main thing of this photo. I tried to make the upper part of the sky a bit darker and the lower part a bit brighter so that you know the photo became a bit more dynamic. The second mask was on the ground and the thing that I've mainly done on the ground was to 
come up with more shadows so as you can see at first the photo was too much dark on that part and so with the ground mask I've tried to pull up a bit the shadows because at first those black were too heavy in the photo. And the third main mask was on the subject, so on myself, and the thing that I mainly done was just to increase a bit the definition of the subject in the photo. So one thing that usually happens in night photography is that when you're going to do a long exposure of for example 10 seconds to 30 seconds for example, it may happen that a plane flies into the sky and so as you can see here on the photo you're going to have a sort of a stripe on your photo and that is not great to see so the fourth mask is just a simple erase of this line as you can see from here. The fifth thing to work on in the photo was the light beam in the sky because I wanted the light beam to be more contrasted into the sky so I just made a mask on it and the thing that I've done was just to increase the brightness on it so something extremely simple because the thing that I usually do in my edits is just to create for example a lot of masks but the thing that I change on those masks are some really little adjustments just to make the photo looking a bit better. Now the following mask is probably one of the most important in the wall edit because as you can see from here there are lots of stars into the sky but the fact is that if you zoom in you can see that there are more stars but when you zoom out you cannot see them so one thing that I've done is to create a mask only for the star. I've selected every single star with the brush tool so I took about 30 minutes, 1 hour to do all these masks and in the end as you can see from the before after there are lots of more stars just because I you know I increase the brightness of the stars now uh, there are only four sorry five masks remaining the first one is a little overexposure on the ground as you can see from here and after I've worked a bit on the color so on the orange here on the ground then I worked on the mountain as you can see I just made it a bit brighter not too much but just you know to show it a bit more the mountain in the background now in the following mask I wanted to just increase a bit as you can see from here the light part of the sky and the final mask was just a linear mask on the lower part of the photo I just made the lower part on the photo here a bit more dark so that you know your eyes just go straight onto the subject and then on the light beam and so after this 10 mass 80 this photo is finally ready and yeah I would say that result from the before to the after is definitely you know amazing for sure this one is not you know the best photo that you can take during a starry night just because you know there was the full moon so it wasn't the best situation and if I have to be honest one improvement that can be done for example in the future in a shot like this one is to have for example the Milky Way in the background and that would be pretty amazing for example this summer I went shooting still in Trentino uh, the Milky Way and that was really amazing but in that situation there wasn't just the space to put myself between the camera and the sky because there was a lake in the middle so yeah I couldn't try to replicate this photo but in the future for sure I will try because I really like this type of knife photography like using a torch and trying to make it a bit more creative than just taking a photo to the star switch you know it's a bit flat so I would say that's basically all for this video let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this type of video and maybe in the future if you want other videos like this one like for example on a single photo or even we could talk about for example on a different set of photos and if you have any question just let me know down in comments and I will be ready to answer you and so I would say that's all for this one subscribe if you don't want to miss the upcoming contents and guys I will see you in the next video so bye see you soon